Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you'll notice, I have a little bit of a background change. The weather has been super, super crappy lately, just overcast and dreary and rainy. And I just, I didn't feel like there was enough lighting to film a lot of days, um, especially with the backdrop that I usually film at with my, I sit on the floor near my dresser, which is dark wood. And I figured the dark wood would accentuate the darkness that it is outside, and so I just moved things around a little bit. I hope that the lighting is okay in this video. Um, I just wanted to get a video up. It's been a while. It's been almost a week again, which is really frustrating, but it is what it is, unfortunately. I don't have studio lights, but my fiance was hinting at getting those for me for my birthday, which is next month. My birthday is actually April 13th, so that's coming up pretty fast. If you're curious, I'll be 28. So there's that. Anyway, um, another thing, please excuse my roots. My hair is desperately in need of a dye job. Um, I try not to dye my hair more than every eight weeks, and we are in week seven. So I think I might break down and do it a little bit early because I just can't stand seeing those mousy roots. But anyway, you're not here for all of that jibber jabber. Um, I have my birch box for this month. This is going to be a weird unboxing because I have been gifting myself a Birchbox subscription. So basically, I have been unemployed and I'm not making any money and um, I still want to get a Birchbox subscription but I don't want to pay full price for it. So starting back in December, I had had $20 in points. I gifted myself a Birchbox subscription back then for three months. I paid like six dollars out of pocket for three months after my twenty dollars in points and a discount code that they sent me so that subscription went from december to february and at that time i earned twenty dollars more in points from that subscription and then i gifted myself a subscription again and so i only paid ten dollars out of pocket for three more months of birchbox when you gift a subscription to another account you get the option of either sending that person a Birchbox Favorites box or whatever special box they have going on right now. So in December, I received a Birchbox Favorites box, whatever the hell it's called. And so I didn't want to get that again. So the featured box that they were sending out to new subscribers is the Date Night box, which looks like this. And this was the curated box for February. So. If you've already seen boxes like this, unboxings, um, I totally understand if you don't feel like watching this, but I just wanted to film this video because it's been a while since I filmed, and I just wanted to show you what I got this month. Here is the box. You always get a card, so it says you've been gifted a Birchbox subscription. It tells me how I can claim my, uh, or start up an, my account and my beauty profile and everything, and then on the back of the card, as always, has um, what's inside of the box. For some reason, even though this is March, they're still sending out those stickers that were from the January box. Okay. We've got pink tissue paper here, and there's a first look at everything in the box. So the first thing I have here is from Amika, and it's their bombshell blowout spray with sea buckthorn berry. It protects, texturizes, and volumizes, and repairs for all hair types. This is one fluid ounce. I don't typically blow dry my hair, um, but when I do, this is something that I will definitely reach for. One ounce size is going to last a good while. It'll give me a good feel of the product and if it's something that I want to repurchase. The next sample I have here is from Wish. And this is their Renewing Mud Mask. This is half of an ounce. It says it provides a gentle resurfacing exfoliation to reveal smoother, softer, more youthful looking skin. And who doesn't want that? So this will probably give me three or four uses and I will report back in a future empties. The next product I have here is pretty exciting. This is from OCC and this is one of their matte lip tars. And it's in the shade Strumpet, which I think was described as like a red peeled grape color or something. I don't remember. I'll put it on the screen. But it's just like, I, I would call this a raspberry color. Why did they have to get so weirdly specific? Red peeled grape. 
it's a raspberry color. This is going to be perfect for any time, daytime, nighttime, so that's great. The next sample I'm pulling out here is from Cynthia Rowley. It is their Brightening Illuminator. This has 1 gram or 0 0.04 fluid ounces in it. And here is the little tube. So really cute, really tiny. I'm pretty sure with liquid illuminators, you don't need a lot. Um, I will go ahead and swatch this. I wasn't going to swatch the OCC because it's not really a color I go for, and I think I want a Divi for something else. But let's try this liquid illuminator. I've been into highlight lately. So it's very pinky toned. I feel like that just disappeared. Alright. So if you can see that, that's very pinky toned. And it does have like a sheen to it. There's no glitter. I don't feel like it does much. I mean, it adds like a luminescence to the skin, which I guess is nice. But I think I'm going to have to try this on my skin to see how well it works. And the last thing I have here is a perfume sample. I feel like perfume samples shouldn't qualify as one of your five items. I feel like it should be like a bonus item. So that's a little disappointing to me. But this is the Catherine Melandrino Romance de Provence. They give you 2 milliliters or 0 0.06 fluid ounces. Um, there are no notes on this little package, but I will put them on the screen for you. And here's the little tube. It does not have a spray. It's got one of those weird little plastic thingies that you just like swipe on your skin. It smells alright. Um, I can't describe it, but it's a good thing I'm putting the notes on the screen. It smells nice. Um, I just wish it had a spray instead of that little plastic jobber, but it, it's alright. Um, so that was everything that came in my birch box this month. Let me know what you got in your box. I would love to watch your video. If you film, please link me down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.